Hi. Happy Wednesday. How you doing? Um, I'm going to take a minute and just breathe. Take a breath with me. Mm, it's like the inner button. I like to say when we practice meditation together, the deep breath, it's like the button to the nervous system. Like, calm down. Even more. <laughs> Even more. So, this morning I woke up. It's Wednesday. On Wednesdays, I like to sort of hear a zoomed out lesson for the week or a zoomed out perspective to consider, whatever the word will be. But I like to zoom out to Rose and hear where she wants me to look and think today. So I woke up this morning and it was, who am I? Like right away, who am I when I first wake up? And that's what I right away couldn't wait to like ask. I, I sometimes try to wait till after meditation before updating on Facebook. But sometimes I'm so excited to share. I can't help it. So I'll write real quick. And this morning I wrote, um, do you know who you are? Like when you first wake up or do you kind of need somebody to remind you? And that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit right now. Like when you first wake up, what are the first thoughts about you? Do you have any order to that? Does it just come to you? Um, do you ever wake up and intentionally think good thoughts about yourself? And I kind of wanted to talk about that as a as like a tool. It's like a vibrational tool for tuning into your stomach, tuning into your feelings, and then getting your alignment going pretty easy. And doing it when you first wake up sets the tone for the whole day. It's almost like as soon as you wake up, those first couple of thoughts, they'll start streaming your thought forms and your emotional response will start going off. And before you're even out the door, the universe, the world is already going, it's already like forming to start meeting you at that vibration because, because you are such a powerful point of attraction and you know, it's just going to come to you. So if, if, if you're going to wake up in the morning and you have some time, you could wake up right away and start telling yourself who you are deliberately. Setting the program to be what you want it to be. Telling the universe who you are right away, who you are going to be out in the world, and how you want to be responded to. Instead of just sort of falling out the door and letting things just, it's like Swiss cheese, hit or miss. Like some things are good, some things are bad, you know, but you can have more control over that. And it was cool that I woke up with the words, who are you? And naturally, my first response was Nancy, a mom, a teacher, a friend, a magical woman, you know? But then it's like, no, who are you? Oh. I'm happy. I'm funny. I have good timing. I'm really smart. I'm a fast learner. I'm curious. I'm playful. I have really good timing. Really good timing. It's probably my favorite thing is the really good timing in everything that I do, which makes everything that I do better because I have such good timing. And you just start listing all of the things that you want to be, that you feel, that that you felt before. And this takes practice. Like, if you're not used to waking up and feeling good about yourself, that right there can be a small, small practice that doesn't take much of your time that is already starting to heal you into that self-loving journey, the self-love awakening. Um and I kind of believe that all humans alive in this time are meant to find their own way into the self-love, healing, journey, awakening part of us. I believe that that's something that I'm here to help more people find. And I believe that every one of us are going to find that one way or another um, in this lifetime. So who do you want to be when you first wake up? You know, you don't. 
Okay, like think about it when you wake up on the days when you know you're going on vacation or it's a holiday. Think about how excited you are. Like you can barely wait to get out of the bed and you're like all the fun things, all the fun things. This big energy just... Imagine waking up that excited just about yourself, just to live your day, just to see what you're going to discover, who you're going to interact with, you know, what you're going to bring to the table, you know? Imagine having that, just a piece of that energy and that excitement, that eagerness, that playfulness, you know, that, that, that is what I believe I came to teach. This sort of like vacation wellness, the idea that every day can feel like vacation, that you don't need to live, that you don't need a vacation from your everyday life. You know, that was my goal when I first started this work. And that's kind of my goal for everybody that I talk with, my family, my friends. I, how can I be a breath of vacation air? How can I bring that? Because that's who I am. I am all about play. I'm all about adventure and fun and, and wonder and curiosity and, and, and a little bit of Henri, you know, like I am that. And I feel like the more that we allow those parts of us in our life, while we're still being professional and we're still being responsible and we're still being accountable and we're still being dependable, we're still being all of those important things that people that we love, that things that we care about want from us. But I'm still me underneath. It's all done in the best of ways because the parts of me that I love, the parts of me that are always me are still here. It's not just a robot doing this. It's not just a machine punching out a thing. I am doing this with my me in it. And I believe that each of us hold that unique essence and each thing that we do can be enhanced by our own deliciousness, our own magic, our own touch, our own input, our own impact. And I believe that everything that we do all together can all start feeling better like that. And and I'm just going to do my part a little bit more each time and a little bit more each time and a little bit more each time. Today I'm on um, a sort of a... a, a it's not a scavenger hunt and it's sort of like a yellow brick road following the breadcrumbs. So I I like to teach about synchronicity and, and I'm always learning too. So while I, I, I know that colors and um, patterns are a way that my synchronicity talks to me. And for a long time, I've been understanding that there's messages in the color patterns. And this past week and just yesterday, I realized another one. So this morning I woke up and right after I remembered who I am, the universe says museum. And I'm like, oh, it's time. This, this, this breadcrumb trail has been coming to me since last Tuesday. It was all of a sudden I thought about the museum. It was kind of rainy and I was like, oh, that'd be something to do. But museum isn't open on Tuesday. And I even knew that I wasn't prepared to go. I just thought that that's what I was to be doing. Since then, I've learned more about how I'm to receive and what gray means. So today, I'm going to go to the museum, and I have three color patterns to look for. And I'm going to see if I can find what I will find when I find those three patterns. At least one time, those three colors are going to stand out to me. And I'm going to know that this is either something relevant to me right now Or I'll take a picture like usual and know that something is coming and this is a puzzle piece to that. So that's just one of the ways that I communicate and use my synchronicity language. And this will be the first time that I am going on my own um, scavenger hunt, sort of, so to say. And I'm really excited about it. So um, I'll, I'll be back soon to let you guys know what I find there. The things are... Blues first, or first blue, blues first. Next is Christmas, red, green, white. And then last is 
um, manifest or about to manifest. Like reading between black and white and gray, I will be getting gray. And gray with red, especially. Ooh, I like that that's right there. The red stuffy. So especially gray with red or red first. I'm not sure why they said it like that. But it's gray with red or red first and gray. And it's particularly this darker red, this more burgundy deep rusty red. So I'm excited to see what I find for for my next, who knows, who knows. I've, I've, these adventures have gone on to give me answers that I'm looking for in the moment Things that I'll be knowing and knowing and knowing more of, like meeting people, all the things. And actually, considering where we are in the calendar year and what this month means to me, it could be something like that. So I'm excited to see what today is about. I'll see you guys later. Bye.